Each time Lewis and Peggy Metzger venture to Africa, their impact is profound. Their foundation over the last few years has had a deep impact on lion, rhino, giraffe, buffalo and elephant, not to mention the fragile ecosystems these animals call home. 2022 was no different, as they both supported and engaged in translocating several families of elephant and the capture and tagging of giraffes. This is the story. The first initiative was to move elephants from areas where they're in conflict with humans and into newly stabilized national parks. The main reason why we're here is to relieve human elephant conflict in an area adjacent to Maputo National Park. These elephants chase people on a daily basis, they eat their crops. Sadly, there's just no way of these elephants living here happily and securely. One of our objectives is to minimize or to mitigate this kind of negative impact of wildlife in communities. Most of all, we are serving the, the elephant, which is a species that is endangered and protected. In terms of the elephants themselves, to be able to catch them, they need to be in an accessible place. Typically in this area, they hang around in thick forest, so we use a helicopter to try and put them out, but just finding them is a huge challenge. Well, we're on a herd of elephants. Seems like there's 12 or 14 animals together, which is a very catchable group. We're just repositioning the vehicles and it's all go. So as soon as the first dart is in, the ground team needs to be really close because there's a lot that can go wrong. About 15% of the elephants are in some sort of peril when you get to them, so we need to be absolutely close at all times to mitigate any issues that, uh, that can go wrong. But after many hours of gently pushing these elephants into this open area, we finally got this whole breeding herd down. They're all safe, they're all asleep in the right positions, and now we're waiting for the trucks to come in. We cannot do this alone. Such kind of interventions of this caliber are very costly and they require a lot of means, expertise. And our partners have been uh, instrumental in making that dream uh, true. After hours of trying to move these elephants out of the wooded areas into the opening so they could be darted, we finally got seven of them on the ground ready to load on trucks. If we can stand together and hold hands firmly and all pull in the right direction, free of politics, free of arguments, but knowing what our end game is, truly, conservation has a chance. Most people don't realize, but giraffes are in serious conservation trouble. The next part of our experience was to engage in the capture and tagging of several giraffes for their monitoring and research. You know, the time when you have a briefing is when it all really gets real. And, you know, after a couple of days of waiting for this weather to clear, we're finally on the front line of this giraffe capture. Nobody knows how today is going to go, but we're just waiting for the helicopter. Everybody's had the briefing. The vets are ready. The capture team are ready. The local biologists on the ground are ready. So now all we need is a giraffe. We're going out to look for the first giraffe. Uh, looks like there's a good female over there. Hopefully Ben the vet will come down, nice dart, follow up with the capture vehicle, and uh, hopefully she's a good one. So stay tuned.
So we've got a young female here. Actually, the ear tag is in. We're just doing some measurements. We've taken some tail hair samples. And in a few minutes, we'll get her up and she's gonna be part of the science program. We're gonna learn where she goes, what she's doing, and this is gonna to lead to conservation and knowledge that's gonna impact giraffe all over the continent.